Well, new tonight, people in Lodi are not happy after unexpected flooding caused thousands of dollars in damage to their brand new homes. And this, sadly, is not the first time. ABC 10's Gabriel Porras has their story. As rain from last week's storm pelted the Vineyard Terrace neighborhood near Henry Lane and Lower Sacramento Road in Lodi, Akeem Watts' eyes were glued to his cell phone. Cars trying to get through. Anxiously watching his security cameras as the street in front of his newly built home turned into a lake. My mother-in-law's car, it's, it's low compared to where how high the water rose. Mm. Uh, so we had to make sure I had to move this one down the street. Meanwhile, a few houses down. Water was, you know, up to the door. Neighbor Jason Monte sprung into action. There was like cars stalled out on the main street here. Uh, I personally pulled a couple car, uh, cars out with my truck. For many, the fear as the flood water rose was quickly washed away by confusion and frustration after the same thing happened last year. I think that's on a lot of people's mind is, um, are we going to continue to live here? Um, or is this going to happen every time you know it rains and everybody's on pins and needles? Construction on most homes in the neighborhood wrapped up in 2020. That's when Akeem moved in with no warning that in just two years he would be forced to buy sandbags and redo his front lawn twice. Do we all have to purchase flood insurance because the drains don't work? You don't expect a new neighborhood to not have properly working drains. In a statement, the city of Lodi acknowledged the flooding saying in part, quote, Staff has determined that minor modifications to the system's operation was effective at clearing the standing water within minutes. In addition to evaluating more permanent solutions, staff has implemented pre-storm operation protocols that are expected to reduce or eliminate street flooding in this area. Despite bringing the issue up to city officials several times, neighbors say no long-term changes have been made. It gets expensive. Which is why Jason and others hope for change soon. People bought in these homes, it's been a you know, good amount of money, um, but you know, nobody asked for beachfront property. 